Welcome to the Apron Academy. This video is specially designed for the dietitian in training, otherwise known as the RD to be. This video is all about panthenic acid or vitamin B5. Okay, here's our chemical structure. This itself right here is our panthenic acid. Um First, where can we get the panthenic acid? We can get it from eggs, broccoli, fish, chicken, milk, avocados. In fact, the pantos, uh, where the panthenic, panthenic acid comes from, means everywhere. So we can get it from all sorts of foods. So... Um, I pointed out that this right here is um, our pantothenic acid. This whole thing is our um, acetyl-CoA. Um, we have a cysteine here and then ADP right here. So how is it absorb, absorbed? So... Um, we can absorb it as ACP and CoA, and I'll talk about those in a minute. Um, but those are very big structures. This is our uh, CoA structure. It's very big, so we have to hydrolyze it and get it to this pantothenic acid um, in order to be absorbed. Our SMVT transporter is how it's carried into the enterocytes and even other organs like the heart and things like the muscle, kidneys, liver. However, the brain absorbs panthenic acid by facilitated diffusion. So it has a couple of functions. Really, the main function is that it's required for the synthesis of two carrier proteins. And these are the two carrier proteins, coenzyme A or CoA, and then um, acetyl carrier protein, ACP. So CoA is essential for the entrance of acetyl CoA in the Krebs cycle, and then ACP is essential for the synthesis of palmitate, which um, is a saturated fatty acid. So I kept saying essential, essential. It's because it is. It's essential for life. Without panthenic acid, we're not able to synthesize CoA or ACP. So this is just to show you acetyl-CoA is here, here. In order for these reactions to run, we need pantothenic acid. And so now what happens if I don't have enough? Right now there's not really a disease state that's known. Um, it has been shown in some studies that um, maybe some numbness and tingling in the hands and feet could be a part of a deficiency, but really there's no disease state. Um, there's also no RDA recommended dietary allowance for pantothenic acid, and part of that is because we really can get it ev everywhere that we eat food. Um, so our bodies use it, but we really we can't really run out. So now I also want to talk about as the dietitian. So there have been um, like blogs and supplement bottles that have come out in saying that pantothenic acid has helped acne, it's helped ADHD, dandruff, retarded growth, dizziness, shingles, helps with wound healing, etc. Um, but really there is no evidence that shows this. So as a dietitian, we are the food experts. We know about 
all these vitamins. And so we should be the ones saying, no, this is not true. This is what is true. And telling them really the function for pantothenic acid is uh, the synthesis of those two carrier proteins and um, focus on that rather than where the scientific evidence has not shown. Now, I think I've gone for a record of the fastest video, but that's all you need to know for pantothenic acid. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you.